Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some it's not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, I tell you all the time to be careful. This is one of the prime examples of why I say this every time I post a video up. Because it's so much going on, y'all. And for some reason, they're hitting these malls. Um, this is a new thing that's trending right now. Okay, there are groups of individuals that go to the mall and they pretend like they don't know each other and they come in different sects, you know, a, a couple here, a couple there, but they all are together, but they act like they don't know each other. Okay, and then they start a commotion, y'all. And once the commotion start, they, they pick out individuals that they want to rob, people that's there shopping. And they, they rob, you know, the, um, the stores in the mall. And they love to do the malls that um, looks like it's about to close down. It's very few stores left, okay, y'all? They like to hit those kinds, okay? Um, be careful, y'all. And I tell you, every day, I tell you all, stay aware of your surroundings. This is a must right now, okay? This is why I do not like big crowds. If I go somewhere that there's a big crowd, I am in the cut. Believe me, I'm in the cut because I'm I'm going to see where the exit is so I can make sure make my way up out of any kind of mess. And people going to have to start being careful. Everybody wants to be in the in crowd and this and that and that and this, and they're not paying attention to stuff that's going on. Um, this is something that just happened in Texas at a at a mall, at a mall, and this is not just happening in Texas. This is happening everywhere okay y'all and there was some fatalities y'all this is sad i want to play this clip for you all um but y'all be be careful it's not safe to go into certain malls and a lot of malls do not have security and i didn't even notice y'all the malls that do have security um they some little pentagonic person that ain't re ready for these big crowds like that okay and what can one security do when you got about a hundred people in the mall that's all together, that's there for a specific thing, to rob and run, okay, snatch and grab. This is what this is going on right now. People don't want to work for anything anymore, y'all. They want to take. So this is why I tell people to be careful. It's not always wise to just be flashy all the time, especially if you're going to certain places. There's a time for everything. It's a time to get flashy and be ready for whatever. And it's a time to, you know, tone it down and go in certain areas, do what you got to do and bounce. Okay, y'all? This is the things that you have to be aware of. All right? And when you go to the mall and people is watching what you got on and your jewelry and stuff more than they shopping, um, it's a reason for that. If you got a certain person following you around the mall, um, it's a reason for that. Don't pull out money in front of everybody. OK, just be careful how you're doing things. All right, because, you know, it makes a big difference if you are a target. Now, I want you all to listen to this clip real quick. This is sad because all these people lost their lives and it's sad. And I think it went up to nine. OK, but this is an update on the hidden that took place at a Texas outlet mall. Y'all to speak to the medical part of our response. Uh, when we received the call, we activated our active attack integrated response our rescue task force teams found seven deceased individuals on scene we transported nine individuals to the hospital to area trauma facilities of those that we transported two have since died three are in critical surgery and four are stable i'll now turn it over to police chief harvey hey, sir, what is the total number of deaths The total would be then nine. So, yes, it is nine has passed, y'all. 
My name is Brian Harvey, uh, the Chief of Police in Allen. And we're all saddened by this event today, this tragic event today. At 3.36, our officer was at Allen Premium Outlets on an unrelated call. He heard gunshots, located the gunshot, located the shooter, neutralized the shooter, neutralized the threat. We believe at this point that the shooter acted alone. We are asking for the public's help. If you were a witness, if you have any video, please call 1-800-CALL-FBI. 1-800-CALL-FBI. This is an ongoing active investigation. Uh, we've had tremendous uh, local, county, and state and federal support, and we appreciate that. And I will turn it over to Congressman Keith Self. Thank you, Chief. First and foremost, we need to keep the families impacted by this tragedy in our prayers. Yes. We will never know how many lives were saved by the swift actions of our first responders. What we do know is that we owe a debt of gratitude to first responders that ran toward the gunfire and acted swiftly to neutralize the threat. I'll be followed by State Representative Jeff Leach. I'm State Representative Jeff Leach from House District uh, 67 and uh, resident of Allen. Uh, my family and I reside about a mile from where this shooting uh, took place. This community is home for us and our hearts are, um, are, are devastated and, and broken tonight. No law enforcement official, no elected official ever um, imagines or plans to or hopes to speak in front of a press conference like this. But here we are and uh, we are resolute and and our commitment to pray for, um, praying and believing for the victims and their families. There are many, many people in our community tonight who are hurting, whose lives have been shattered, and who, um, who need and, and deserve our, our collective prayers, and, and um, they have them. Tonight there are um, people of faith all over our great community ministering to those families, and they, of course, have our, our, our prayers in this, in this moment. Tomorrow, on Sunday, at 5 p.m., we'll be holding a vigil at Cottonwood Creek Baptist Church here in Allen. Um, just got a phone with Pastor John Mark Caton and um, his church, which does such a wonderful job with so many other in the, others in the faith community and wrapping their arms around this community and loving on and supporting people in their time of need. Tomorrow will be a great night of healing, a much needed night of healing and, um, and hope. Um, I was on scene today, I uh, was in constant communication with, with Governor Abbott and our speaker, uh, Dave Phelan, who have offered their full support, full support of state government. Um, been on the phone with uh, Steve McCraw, Executive Director of the Texas Department of Public Safety. Um, the state government stands ready to assist our wonderful Police Chief Brian Harvey and all of our local officials, really law enforcement agencies at all levels. Um, in responding to this tragedy. They are true heroes, and, um, and I saw that firsthand today. And so uh, we remain committed to praying for victims and their families, and our community, I have no doubt, will come together and respond um, in the right way to this horrific tragedy. Okay, y'all, so it's just a lot of people that's coming forth that's speaking on what happened, but I just wanted to give you an update that, yeah, it has been up to nine that were taken out and i believe there's still people in the hospital as well um such a sad thing rest in peace to all the victims and pray for the families um y'all be alert be alert at all times this is just not happening in texas this is happening everywhere um chicago just had a big um shadingi um not too long ago and they weren't at a mall. They just took over the downtown area. Okay. And it was a large group of, you know, young adults. And they were just walking down the street. It was hundreds of them. They were walking down the street and they were robbing people that was just walking down the street. Uh, attacking people who they wanted to attack. And um, this is what they're doing now. You, you know, they used to do the flash, uh, flash mob dance or something like that. 
where these are flash mob robberies right now, y'all. These are flash mob robberies. And you don't even know these people are all together, but then at all of a sudden, commotion hit, and then everybody that's together come together, okay? Um, it's weird. It doesn't make sense um, to just target innocent people and take what they have and, you know, assault them, but this is what is happening right now. Um, we're going to have a wild summer, y'all. So get ready for it, all right? This is why I tell y'all to be careful, all right? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.